What's going on, knuckleheads? It's George with Fighters Rep, and today what I wanted to discuss with you guys and get your opinions on was, can Daniel Cormier be considered the GOAT despite the fact that he lost to John Jones twice? Is Daniel Cormier in the GOAT conversation, or could he be considered the GOAT? Absolutely. If you're asking my opinion, I absolutely think that not only is uh, Daniel Cormier in that conversation, but he is way up there in that conversation. The guy's only ever lost one time, technically, uh, according to his record. That second John Jones fight was ruled a no contest. And the only guy he's lost to is John Jones, who was caught cheating. And uh, a lot of people... A lot of people say, hey, George, sure he was cheating, but did that cheating or performance-enhancing drug allow the leg kick to land on Daniel Cormier's face and knock him out? Were the dick pills or whatever it was enough to help Jones sufficiently in order to get him or, or aid him in beating Daniel Cormier? And if you're asking me, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. If you've ever been to a, to a gym and worked out before and worked on anything related to, to uh, athletics, you know that the difference between doing 10 reps and 12 reps on, on a bench, for example, is a massive thing. And so when somebody's taking a performance enhancing drug that allows them that little bit more, that little bit more strength, a little bit more speed, the little bit more endurance, especially in a fight where it's a game of inches, it's a game of millimeters, it's a game of split seconds. Absolutely, I think that uh, PEDs help John Jones beat Daniel Cormier. Now, if you wipe away those two losses to John Jones, I absolutely think that Daniel Cormier must be considered now as one of the goats in the fight game. Um, the guy's amazing. He's a two-weight division champion in historically what is one of the most exciting divisions in all of combat sports, which is uh, the heavyweight division plus his light heavyweight championship. He's incredibly talented. He's articulate. He's a former wrestler of Olympic pedigree. Um, he's demonstrated to the MMA game how important grappling is. As if we already didn't know, he's demonstrated that wrestling is perhaps the most important base in all of MMA. And he continues to share his knowledge as a broadcaster, as a coach. And even now at the age of 40, he's still fighting at the top level. Uh, and that can be seen in his performance last Saturday when he basically beat the number two guy in the world and Derek Lewis and made it look easy. He's beaten the cream of the crop, uh, the Josh Barnett's, uh, the, the, the Bigfoot Silvas. I mean, anybody you could think of, this guy has just absolutely crushed, except for a guy who's been caught cheating. So to sit here and, and deny uh, his position among the greats, uh, I, I think is a disservice to the sport. I do think that he's in the GOAT conversation. I never like to label anyone the GOAT because uh, I, I don't think you can really do that uh, realistically. It's very difficult. The guys are in different weight classes. You would never know how they would match up together. It's all hypothesis. It's all theoretical. But I absolutely think Daniel Cormier should be considered among the GOATs despite the fact that he lost to John Jones. Um, so that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, they really matter to me. I'd love to have more conversations about the fight game with you guys out here. Um, I think it'll help build the sport. Uh, so please like, comment, share this video, subscribe to the video, and also look out for the next Fighters Rep event it is going down. I ask that you guys click the links below in the body of this, uh, especially to purchase some Fighters Rep t-shirts. We've got some sick Fighters Rep shirts. Now I've got the ones with the area codes underneath them, so you can represent your city by representing the fight game. All the proceeds that you guys spent on Fighters Rep stuff, it's going to be reinvested right back into Fighters Rep, giving these young fighters here in Southern California 
and all of California the opportunity to live their dream and to continue competing. Uh, definitely look out on December 22nd. We're going to be co-promoting with CXF. It's going to be some sick amateur fights at the Pro-Am at the Hollywood, uh, at, at the Florentine Gardens in Hollywood. And uh, I really appreciate your time. Again, also check out our sponsors and affiliates below. If you click any of those links, it helps us out. And again, everything you invest into the fight game, we're going to be reinvesting it back into these young warriors. So, so yeah, just, you know, let me know what you guys think of Daniel Cormier being considered a GOAT. I'd love to hear your opinion. Hey, knuckleheads, be sure to smash that like button, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to support Fighters Rep.